Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 1.4, uh, the last lesson of unit one. And this lesson is on um, dividing polynomials with long division. So really quick, let's just review how you do long division for integers or whole numbers because um, it's very similar to long division with polynomials. So let's start with this example. We're dividing 588 by seven. So what we're doing here is 588 over seven. Okay, so first thing we look, how many times does seven go into five? And if it can't go into five a whole time, then we would look at 58. So five is smaller than seven. Seven doesn't divide five. So now we look at the first two numbers, 58, and we think how many times does seven go into 58? Well, eight times seven is 56. So it goes into 58 eight times. And I write that over the eight because that's the place that we're going to. Okay, then we're gonna multiply seven and eight and we get 56. So we write 56 down here and then we're gonna subtract because by multiplying by eight, we're like covering 56 of the 58. Okay, so five minus five is zero, eight minus six is two. And then we pull this eight down and now we have 28. So now we're gonna ask ourselves, how many times does seven go into 28? The answer to that is four. Four times seven is 28, subtract zero, so we're done. And there's no remainder. So we've just found that 588 over seven is equal to 84. Okay, let's do one more to kind of make sure we have that idea. So. 762 divided by six. So six goes into seven one time, so I write a one over the seven. Then I multiply one and six to get six, and then I subtract. Seven minus six is one, and then I'm gonna pull the six down, and I'm gonna pull the two down. Okay, so now six into six into one, six doesn't go into one, so now we're gonna look at 16. Six into 16. It goes into 16 two times. So we put a two, multiply two and six to get 12 and subtract. Okay, 16 minus 12 is four and then we pull our two down and now we have 42. Now we're asking ourselves, how many times does six go into 42? It goes into 42 seven times. Multiply seven and six, we get 42, subtract and we get zero. So there's no remainder and we're done. So the answer is 127. 762 divided by six is 127. Okay, so the reason we did that is dividing polynomials with long division is very similar. So now let's try to do that same kind of long division process, but with some polynomials. Okay, so first one, we wanna divide x to the third plus 17x squared plus 80x plus 100 divided by x plus five. So let's set up our um, long division. We put the number we're div or the polynomial we're dividing by under that little box thing. So x to the third plus 17x squared plus 80x plus 100. Then I have my division guy and then we put the thing we're dividing by outside. So x plus five goes outside. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the first terms of each polynomial. And we're gonna ask ourselves, okay, what do I need to multiply x by to get x to the third? Okay, so this is one x, this is three x's multiplied together, so I would need to multiply it by two more x's, or x squared, to get x to the third. Okay, so x squared times x is x to the third. So now I'm gonna multiply x squared by this whole polynomial. x squared times x is x to the third, and then x squared times five is five x squared. Okay, now just like with long division, we're gonna subtract. 
So I'm going to do x to the third minus x to the third, that's 0. 17x squared minus 5x squared gives us 12x squared. And then we're going to pull the remaining terms down. So I have still plus 80x and plus 100. OK, now we're going to look at 12x squared and x. So again, the first terms of the remaining polynomials. And I ask myself, what do I need to multiply x by to get 12x squared? So first, we need to multiply by 12 to get the 12 in there. And then to go from x to x squared, I need to multiply by an x. OK. So now we're going to do 12x times x plus 5. So 12x times x, that's 12x squared. 12x times 5 is going to be 60x. OK, and then we subtract. 12x squared minus 12x squared is 0. 80x minus 60x is 20x. And then we pull the 100 down, so plus 100. All right, we're getting close to the end. Now we're going to keep looking at the first terms in our polynomials. So now we have x and 20x. And I want to know, what do I multiply x by to get 20x? And this time it's easy. We just need to multiply by 20. OK, so now we're going to do 20 times x plus 5. So 20 times x is 20x, 20 times 5 is 100, and then we subtract. And 20x minus 20x is 0, 100 minus 100 is 0, so we have 0, which means we're done and we have no remainder, so we figured it out. So our answer to this question, this big polynomial divided by x plus 5, the answer to that is x squared plus 12x plus 20. All right, so that's long division of polynomials. We'll do one more example of that. OK, 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 47x minus 20, all divided by 3x plus 5. So let's set up our long division. The thing we're dividing by, or sorry, the thing we're dividing goes underneath. And the thing we're dividing by, 3x plus 5, goes outside. OK, so first question. We look at our first terms. What do we need to multiply 3x by to get 6x cubed? So 3 to 6, we need to multiply by 2. And then x to x cubed, we need to multiply by x squared. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to multiply 2x squared by this whole polynomial. So 2x squared times 3x gives us 6x cubed. 2x squared times 5 gives us 10x. And then we subtract. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0. 11x squared. Oh, sorry, this is 10x squared. 11x squared minus 10x squared takes us to minus 21x squared. So we've gone more negative 10. And then we pull down our remaining terms. So we'll pull down the minus 47x and the minus 20. All right, now we're going to do that process again. So we look at our first terms and we ask, what do we need to multiply 3x by to get minus 21x squared? So we need to multiply by minus 7 to get to negative 21. And then x to x squared, we need to multiply by an x. OK, so now that we have that, we're going to multiply minus 7x by this whole polynomial, 3x plus 5. So minus 7x times 3x, that gives us minus 21x squared. 
and then minus 7x times 5. Let's see, minus 7 times 5 is minus 35, and then we have an x. And now we're going to subtract. All right, so now we're subtracting negatives. So remember, subtracting a negative is like adding a positive. So minus 21x minus negative 21x, that's like, this is like adding positives, right? So we're having minus 21x squared plus 21x squared, that's zero. Minus 47x plus 35x is going to be, um, what is it? I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm struggling to do this. 12. <laughs> Minus 12x. There we go. All right, and now we pull down the minus 20. Okay, we're really close. So last time, we're going to do that same process where we look at the first terms and we ask, what do we need to multiply 3x by to get to minus 12x? And this time we just need to multiply by a negative 4, so that will turn 3 into minus 12. Okay, so now that we have that, we do minus 4 times this whole polynomial. So minus 4 times 3x gives us minus 12x. And then minus 4 times 5 gives us minus 20. Subtract. Okay. And remember, subtracting negatives is like adding positives. So we end up with basically minus 12x plus 12x, that's 0. Minus 20 plus 20, that's 0. So we have 0, and we're done. So this is telling us that this quotient, or this division, is equal to 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. All right, so um, that's some examples of how you do long division with polynomials.